In this video, I will introduce six big dams in Afghanistan. Soktok Dam is a heavy dam on the Neely River, which is one of the tributaries of the Helmand River and was built in Neely District, Daikundi Province, Afghanistan. This dam has the ability to produce 700 kilowatts of electricity and is used to supply energy to the city of Neely. The construction work of this dam started in 2016 and ended in 2019. Before the construction of this dam on the Nile River, the water of this river flowed into the Kajaki Dam and finally into the AMU Lake. Shatut Dam is a proposed dam in the Kabul River Basin, one of the five watersheds in Afghanistan. This project provides drinking water, irrigation, and environmental water for Kabul province. The cost of this project is estimated at $236 million, and its studies and preparations cost $1.86 million, which was completed in 2012. The yield of this dam will be about $2 million per year. This dam will be built by India, in addition to irrigating 4,000 hectares of land in Chahar Asiab district and neighboring areas. Shat Tat Dam also supplies clean drinking water to Des Sabs district. Chek Wardak Dam, which is also called Chek Dam for short, is a dam near the center of Chek district in Maidan Wardak province, Afghanistan. This dam was originally built by the Germans in 1938 and is the oldest main dam in Afghanistan. This dam regulates the flow of water in the Logar River and helps to provide water for irrigation in Chek Valley. Chek Wardak Dam once had a high capacity for energy production. Its four turbines supplied electricity to Wardak and part of Kabul and Ghazni. In 2005, Chek Wardak Dam almost overflowed because after six years of dry weather, its emergency valves were rusted and closed. The United Nations Development Program and Afghanistan Charity Fund took immediate action to solve this problem and repaired the rusty valves of this dam at a cost of $18,000. Sultan Dam is a dam on the Ghazni River in Ghazni Province, Afghanistan. Since 2013, this dam has only been used to irrigate 150,000 hectares of agricultural land. It is expected that this dam will have the capacity to generate electricity for 50,000 families. This dam is very important for the residents of Ghazni and the neighboring province of Maidan Wardak. It is said that this dam was first built in the 10th century during the Ghaznavid period and in memory of Sultan Mahmud of Ghaznavi. This dam collapsed in 2005 and led to catastrophic floods in the city of Ghazni, 30 kilometers away. Durante Dam is a hydroelectric power station located near Durante on the Kabul River, approximately 7 kilometers from Jalalabad city, the capital of Nangarhar province, Afghanistan. Durante Dam was built by the Soviet Union in 1964. Its power station includes three vertical Kaplan turbines with an output of 3.85 MW each. Initially, this dam produced 40 to 45 megawatts of electricity, but during the Afghan Civil War, its actual output reached 11.5 megawatts due to silting and other damages. The station is currently in a very poor condition and requires major renovation, possibly including the replacement of all three turbines. The United States Agency for International Development contracted their company to renovate the Derwent Power Station. This ongoing renovation was supposed to be completed by the end of January 2012. On March 4, 2013, Wad Sam Company reported that USAID has suspended the cost of the project because the governor of Gulaga Shirze did not fulfill his promise to bear 10% of the cost of this $11 million project. Kargha Dam is a recreational dam in Afghanistan, located in Kargha district of Kabul province. This resort and its surrounding areas have recreational facilities, such as sailing, surfing, and golf testing, where the hotel welcomes guests, and there is also a fishing spot on its beach. Plans have been made to exploit the reservoir water of this dam for irrigation and electricity generation. This dam is located 15 kilometers west of Kabul and is built on the Pegman Sea. This dam was built in 1933. Its height is 30 meters, its length is 1.68 kilometers, and its width is 600 meters. Its water intake valve, which was damaged, has been restored. 
The water area behind this dam is 5,000 hectares. This dam was built for the purpose of a recreation center in the 1950s when Muhammad Dawood Khan was the president of the country. Now, it is a popular place, especially on Fridays when a lot of people go to the bar. During the country's seven-year plans, it was planned to use the water stored in this dam as drinking water for Kabul city. This dam has been developed for salmon and its nursery near the dam. As a resort, there is a nine-hole golf course a little further away from the dam, apart from the posh hotel by the Sapojmi Lake. In their research in northwest Kabul, the U.S. Army engineers tested the exploitation of the Karga Dam Reservoir for renewable energy technology. They tested two designs. The first plan showed that with a crown height of 25 meters, the dam is capable of producing 900,000 kilowatts of electricity in a year. The second plan showed that with a dam height of 100 meters, it will be able to produce 900,000, not 100,000 kilowatts of electricity per year. These six important dams in Afghanistan play a very important role in providing energy, irrigation, and drinking water for different regions. In addition to supplying electricity to the city of Neely, the Saudak Dam helps regulate the flow of the Neely River and control floods. Shatat Dam is important for providing irrigation for Kabul province and neighboring areas and also plays a role in providing clean drinking water for Desabs province. Chek Wardak Dam not only regulates the water flow of Logar River, but also provides electricity to Wardak in part of Kabul and Ghazni. The Sultan Dam provides large-scale irrigation for agricultural land and helps generate electricity for local families. Durante Dam provides electricity and water for Nangarhar province and plays an important role in providing electricity for Afghanistan. Garke Dam also not only provides recreational areas for people, but also water resources are used to generate renewable energy. These dams help the development and progress of Afghanistan economically and socially and are important in providing water and energy for various needs of the country. Thanks for watching.